If you're thinking of getting solar or already have solar, this video is definitely for you. Hello, I'm Sinue with DroneQuote. We help people understand solar and roofing for their homes from a fiduciary perspective. Being of service literally saved my life and is my North Star in business. So let me serve you some hot and ready information that can save you thousands of dollars, especially if you already have solar. What is solar monitoring? When you install solar panels or an energy storage system, there's an internet connected or cellular backed device that communicates with your solar or battery components and relays this information to be seen on your phone in an application or in your computer through a browser. Some older systems didn't come standard with monitoring, so you may not have this critical feature. If your battery or solar inverter is the heart of the system, then the monitoring is the heartbeat. The data relay tells you critical information like how much electricity you've produced in different time segments, and more importantly, if your system is working correctly. In an ideal world, it would also alert you if there are faults. Your monitoring system is so easy to use, most people forget about it. But that's like forgetting to check your fuel gauge on a long road trip. The best way to use your monitoring is in an automated manner, meaning that either your installer or yourself has entered into the settings and situated an automated response in the event of a fault. The other way to use your monitoring is by comparing annual production. This allows you to measure the degradation of your system from the expected losses on paper to the actualized losses. While this is a long-term play, it matters because some people are sold on fancy, high-efficiency panels with low degradation rates, and this is how you check those numbers to initiate recourse if needed. You are automatically notified of an issue when monitoring works the intended way. I had solar on my previous home, and sometimes I would get automated emails like the one on your screen now telling me of some fault or communication issue. Who monitors your solar panel system? You do. I don't care what anyone says. You should be aware of your system's monitoring. While many companies offer production guarantees or even monitoring of your system, they can put you in a significant bind and leave you owing thousands of dollars if the party you're relying on drops the ball, which is not unheard of, unfortunately. So what can go wrong with your monitoring? A fault can be a communication error that inhibits the flow of data. Another fault can be a panel or an inverter having an issue that deters the electricity output of said panel or inverter. But the worst fault would be that the entire system goes offline. An offline system is the most critical fault because if it goes unnoticed while you are using more electricity than Dr. Emmett Brown, you may realize that you now owe the utility thousands of dollars for this electricity that you used, unbeknownst to you, of course. This utility bill shows a balance of over $4,000 because the system was offline for eight months. Who found the fault? You're dead wrong if you guessed the installer who promised a money back guarantee and active monitoring. If you like this video so far, please consider hitting the subscribe and notification buttons. It would be greatly appreciated. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. You can prevent issues first by automating fault notifications. If your monitoring is Wi-Fi based, you want to ensure connectivity between your router and the monitoring components stays active. If your monitoring is cellular based, you'll want to confirm that the subscription is up to date. This does imply that cellular-based monitoring expires. Most cellular-based monitoring has a subscription period that must be renewed at your expense to maintain connectivity. 
What if you have monitoring issues? If your monitoring is Wi-Fi based, most of the time it is as easy as restarting your monitoring component. Simply unplug it and then plug it back in. If it is cellular based, you may be able to restart it if the module is easily accessible. But if not, you'll want to call the installer. If your installer is out of business, you'll want to contact the manufacturer of the inverter to seek help. What if you don't have solar monitoring? While this is less common than it was before, there are still older systems out there that didn't come with monitoring. You may still be able to retrofit monitoring yourself with the installation of an energy monitoring system like Emporia or Sense. Click on this link for a comprehensive video about how that works. But don't get your hopes up about energy monitoring solution because not all electrical panels are compatible. If you don't have monitoring capabilities and can't install an energy monitoring system, the utility may be your last hope. Most utilities turn monthly electric bills into annual electric bills once solar is installed on the home. Even without monitoring, the utility will keep track of your electricity usage. Since your solar panels would offset some of your electricity usage, you should only record minimal use with the utility. Keep an eye on your monthly statements from the utility, reflecting your net usage. If you notice a significant spike in usage from one month to the next and cannot attribute it to something that you recall doing, there is a chance your system may be failing. You can confirm that by going to your electric meter on a sunny day and seeing if it is moving to the right, indicating that you are pulling power from the grid. Under normal circumstances, if your panels are producing more energy than you are using, the meter should be going backward on a sunny day, assuming you're not running the AC or other high demand appliances. So make sure you've turned these off before going outside to look. If you've had issues with monitoring or success catching a problem before it snowballed into a mortgage payment, let us know in the comments below. Especially especially if it's something that I didn't mention in the video. We want to ensure that we're doing everything possible to further education about renewable technology so people can get the most out of their investment. Likewise, for those that are looking to adopt this technology, DroneQuote is there to help guide you make the best decision. From our knowledgeable consultants who serve you as fiduciaries, to the unique method of using drones to assess quality after installation, DroneQuote literally goes above and beyond for our clients and everybody else interested in this technology because service to others is the lifeblood of our company. If you want more information on how we work or what we could do for you, please visit us at DroneQuote.net. Until next time, hasta la vista, baby.